Okay, so I'm going to talk you guys how to ride third level test three. So first off, A down center line, you want to make a nice straight entry and really keep C right between your horse's ears. And then X halt and salute. You always make sure that your horse kind of squares up and stands still. I always take a nice deep breath before I proceed to the trot. You want a nice crisp transition up to the trot and then C track left uh, and then HXF you have medium trot across the diagonal so make sure you get your horse straight, keep their pole up, ride a nice medium trot. Um, the judge wants to see a moderate lengthening of the frame um, and also that you maintain a clear tempo. Next, you have your shoulder in right from K to E. Again, you want to maintain a steady angle of three tracks. And then E to X, half circle right, X to B, half circle left. Make sure that you go straight one stride on the center line. Lots of people kind of go across the center line at a diagonal, and you're going to get marked down for that. B to G, half pass left. Again, show clear bending to the left crossing of the legs, and maintain a steady tempo. Now you have your extended trot, MXK. So also make sure that you show a clear transition at M to your extended trot, and a clear transition back to collected trot at K, because you get a separate transition score for your extended trot. Now you have your A, halt, rein back, four steps. Everyone always forgets this movement in third three. So don't forget it. And then make sure to proceed immediately into the trot. You have to get left bending in the corner and set up for your shoulder in from F to B. Again, maintain a nice steady angle. And then you have your half circle 10 meters left to your half circle 10 meters right. Again, make sure you go one step straight on the center line. Show a clear change of bend into that right half circle. You can see I was a little off center line there. And then into your half pass to the right. Again, show clear bending, steady trot, and then C track left, and then your walk transition is between C and H there. H turn left, and then you have your left walk pirouette. So you show medium walk here. And then before you get to the letter, you want to collect and do a half walk pirouette to the left. Again, you see how uh, Harvey here, he maintains nice activity in the hind legs. You don't want your horse to stick and plant a hind foot or you're going to get a four right away. So again, rock, walk pirouette to the white, right, maintaining a clear rock, walk rhythm. And then I have my extended walk from R to B. So the walk is a great time to kind of take a few deep breaths, get your horse and you to relax a little. Um, you want to show a nice length of stride in the extended walk. It's not this horse's best movement. You would like to see a little bit more reach uh, from the hind legs and a little bit more swing in his back. And then at V medium walk, and then before K, shorten the stride in the walk and collected canter left lead. So you want your horse to be straight here. You don't want them to put their haunches in. Get a nice canter going. And then you have from F to X, half pass left. So that comes up pretty quick. Make sure to get a nice bend so that you can start a nice half pass to X. X straight ahead. And then you do a half circle to the left. And then from S to F on the diagonal and a flying change at the center line. So I always try to get my horse a little supple, like a little supple to the right there before the right change and help him get that change clean. Usually at third level, the horses are still a little green for the changes. So really set them up correctly. And then half pass right from K to X. So show nice right bending, X straight ahead, and then your half circle right to R, and then R to K, change rein, and your flying change at the center line. Again, here I'm making him a little supple left. I'm waiting for the right moment when I can help him find a clean flying change. And then you have your extended canter 
F to M. So across the short side, collect your horse a little extra, get the bend, show a clear transition. Again, you get a separate score for your transitions at F and M. So make sure that you show a clear difference so that the judge can actually see something changing there. Then you have your trot transition at H, collected trot, and then E turn left, X turn left, G halt. Again, nice clear turns. Make sure you bend your horse a little in the turns and then get your horse straight towards the letter C and a nice square straight halt.